What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to explain the ending of Scream. So we're going to go through substantial parts of it, spoil things, spoil the killers and motives and all of that stuff. So obviously, turn away now if you have not yet seen the movie. Okay, so jumping to the end of this film, I guess, and maybe we can work ourselves backwards from there. The two killers of the film are Richie and Amber. Uh, obviously, Amber, kind of off and on again relationship with Tara or love interest of Tara at some point and then you have Richie who was Sam's boyfriend but they were only together for a six month time uh, as we find out in the movie they were the two killers and the goal basically was about toxic fandoms which people may or may not like but the idea is these movies obviously they start very good they start very special and then they kind of get watered down and upset people maybe as the movies go on and their idea was that you know given into the wrong hands these film franchises can basically go downhill very very uh, quickly so they need to kind of reboot it but uh but go back to the very beginning which would mean you would need the original members of scream which would be dewey gale and sydney and you also need a new final girl but you need one that's also attached to a legacy character or somebody from the first film so the plan is to bl basically blame the entire thing on sam sam is the daughter of billy loomis um billy cheated on sydney back in the day seemingly when they were still together i can't really imagine another time that that would happen and he cheated on sydney with sam's mom sam's mom had sam and then hid the identity of her real father till she was 13 and found it when she did find it she freaked out basically she went down a path of drugs and just isolating herself from everybody and she ended up leaving when she was 18 and she left tara there obviously with her mom and that uh, created an estranged relationship so throughout the film the general idea is to either get rid of or to i guess gather anybody who's associated with or is the actual person that was in the original movies hence targeting people like chad and, and mindy who are obviously the niece and nephew of randy taking out vince who would technically be the younger cousin of Stu. vince's mom was Stu's mom's sister long bloodline but if you connect it obviously that would mean uh, that he is a younger cousin to Stu. you had judy and wes hicks obviously connected to the fourth one the idea there was basically that was a film that happened and you know that's kind of like a one-off thing they weren't that important of characters so they weren't exactly needed and dewey's death was because it needed to happen right that's actually what amber says uh, at the end of the movie is he needed to go so that the stakes could be kind of raised or they could they can make it feel very very real but obviously towards the very end of the movie they all get together it's revealed i guess because you're supposed to question whether it could be tara or whether it could be Liv. Liv is definitely kept around the longest as the main red herring of the film uh to which then amber kills her and we go through the entire you know ending arc where gail and sydney team up to take out amber which we also see part of that in the trailer and then sam takes out richie pretty much all by herself kind of even using the help of her her inner voice slash billy loomis who also appears throughout this movie uh several times in, in terms of uh, hallucinations de-aging skeet ulrich from current day and that's pretty much it the killers are killed at the end tara delivers the final blow to amber and sam delivers the final blow to richie even though there's definitely no way he was actually alive after that they all kind of go their separate ways sam asks sydney if she will be okay in the future pretty much confirming she is the new final girl going forward although one kind of small twist i would like to see them do in the future is definitely sam has a little bit of a darker side to her considering she is uh, connected to billy obviously him being her head and she is a bit more violent when she uh, ends up actually just killing Richie in the end she really goes hard and definitely more severe in taking out the killer than pretty much anything we've ever seen uh, from Sydney or anybody that's actually killed a ghost face killer which is only uh, Sydney and Dewey so that she's a much more violent individual it seems when she's pushed and I hope maybe they could they could do something with that in the future but it's pretty much confirmed with that talk handing of the torch uh, from Sydney Prescott uh, to Sam Carpenter so that is how the movie ends and finally I guess the movie ends with the ghost face flash which we actually see we actually saw a picture of uh, leading into it and people had discussed you know there's no way that was part of the actual film you're right it's actually the end credit scene or the flash of ghost face 
confirming that at least they want to do more Scream movies and more Scream movies are possible. So let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. Make sure, as always, you guys are subscribed to the channel. I will have loads of other videos talking about Scream over the coming days, and I hope to see you all on those videos.